Hello, good morning. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Good morning, everyone here. God bless you, everyone. Good morning. God bless you. Um, please subscribe my uh, YouTube channel. I really appreciate so all of you. Uh, let me share my daily devotion message to so all of you this morning. Okay, God is nigh. That is the, uh, our topic. So in the box of Psalms chapter 34, okay, chapter 34, 17, I will read 17 up to 22. This is my uh, scripture. So God is nigh is in 17 is the righteous Christ and the Lord hear it. Amen. So the righteous cry, the Lord can hear it. Amen. And deliver them out of all their troubles. <clears throat> and 18, the Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart. Amen. And save it such as be of a contrite spirit. And 19, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered him out of them all. Amen. 20, he keepeth all his bones, not one of them is hurt. It's how God is so good for all of us. Amen. An evil slay, slay, that, slay the weak, and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. Amen. And the Lord is redeemed the souls of his servants, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. Amen. Okay. So I will read the daily devotion message first. Okay. So it was saying in the books of Psalms chapter 17 verse 22. Okay. That God has laid down a principle for himself regarding. Regarding whom to walk with. Be close to. Amen. God will lay down a principle. Okay. Okay. For himself regarding if who if whose person amen or if whose people walk with the close to him amen he said he will be close to a person who is of a broken heart amen and a contrite spirit amen so our Lord God Amen. Is walk and close to the person, okay, that he has a broken heart and a contrite spirit. A broken heart is a heart of meekness. So the broken heart holds those people, the heart is meekness. Amen. A life of continual humility. Amen. A contrite spirit is a heart that show remorse for sins. Amen. A contrite spirit, okay? A contrite spirit, okay, show that the heart is remorse for sin, is continue sinning. The heart like, um, the heart is always like uh, only uh, evil uh, doers. Amen. These two qualities are very essential to God. Therefore, okay, a Christian who seeks, okay, who seeks to hear the voice of God or to be close to God must yearn, okay, to develop a meek heart and contrite spirit. Amen. Okay. So, it was saying, it was saying that a Christian who seeks who want to seek, okay, and to hear the voice of God and wants to be close to God, okay, must yearn, okay, must yearn is must learn, amen, must learn that to develop, okay, a meek heart and contrite spirit, you need to learn, amen, if you want to close to God, okay, you need to learn a meekness, a meekness and contrite spirit because our Lord God is is nigh unto us and he is very close to us that who has a broken heart 
Amen. And God save it such such as a person who a contrite spirit. Amen. So in 17, it was saying, The righteous cry, and the Lord hear it. Amen. And deliver it them out of all their troubles. So our the righteous heart, a real heart or purity heart. Amen. If we cry to pray to our Lord God, God can hear us. Amen. And He delivered us, delivered us out of all troubles. Amen. God can deliver us and can hear us and save us for all troubles. Amen. And the Lord is nigh unto them that are a broken heart. The Lord is very close to us. Uh, very close to the person okay, that are broken hearted. Amen. And he saved such as be of a contrite spirit. Lord can save this person that the spirit inside them is from the enemies. Amen. Okay. So many are afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered him out of them all. So it's what I'm saying is there's many kind this there is many it there is many affliction of the righteous but the Lord God delivered us for out all of them. Amen. And the Lord he keep all his bones our Lord God okay not that not one of them is broken it means is that not one of us one of us will broken amen this is the lord god that that he do everything for us this is why the lord god he do everything for his children that the children that that they trying their best to to close to him amen the lord god he do everything for all his people amen this is why that he keep it his bones for all of them it means it's for all children for all believers amen and the enemies okay evil shall slay the weak this is the this is the cause of the enemies that he loves the weak person and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate and the enemies hate hate the person okay that the righteous okay hate the righteous that shall be desolate this is the devil or this is the enemy's hate amen but the lord redeem it amen the souls of his servants and none of them okay none of them that trust him shall be desolate so the lord will redeem it the souls of his servants it means it, the all believers Amen. All his children, that none of them, that none of them that who trust in him, he shall be desolate. This is how Lord is so good for all of us. Amen. So the Lord God is nigh. Amen. The Lord God is nigh. That that the Lord God is nigh. That are that are of a broken heart. He saved. He saved for those who are of broken heart. This is why God. He's laid down his principles for his regarding whom to walk with and be close to. Amen. This is why we are all the children of God. That God was saying, he said, he will close to a person who is of a broken hearted and contrite spirit. Amen. Did you know? God, he do everything for all of us in this world. God wants all of us to be saved. God has want us that our souls to be saved. We need only is to, to open our hearts and, and to continue to trusting in Him. Amen. That He is our Lord God, the Most High. Amen. Sometimes it's very hard for life. You know, because some other people are, are giving up. Some other people are like, uh, they are tired. But the Lord God, that more we are close to Him, 
the Lord God always remember that he delivered for everything in any troubles. Amen. He saved us for any troubles. Day and night, the Lord always beside us. The Lord always, the Lord always with us to, to, to save us, to, to help us, to, to, the Lord is always want us that, you know, that we need to open our heart. We need to, to, to close to Him, that we need to, to continue trusting in Him. Amen. So this is why the Lord is very close for the person that who is that who are um, a broken hearted or the person who has a contrite spirit. Amen. So this is why we need to we need to, to close to our Lord God that everything in this world without God we can do nothing. Amen. We need a life. We need to put God first in everything we do in life. Amen. Because even those what we are facing for, but our Lord God, He can hear us. He can hear us everything. He can see us everything. This is why we need to continue trusting in Him. Amen. So this is my message to share to all of you. God is nigh. Okay, in the box of Psalms, chapter 34, 17 to 22. Good morning from here in the Middle East. God bless you, everyone. Uh, subscribe my channel. Uh, God bless you. And thank you for all of you, everyone, uh, to support me, especially, especially if I do a live preaching in my Facebook page. I really appreciate to all of you and my prayers. I really thank you so much. And good morning from here. God bless you all.